So as I get over this, because I'm doing video casting and writing things like that, who resonates with this message will start to emerge, and that's going to be... Yes, sir. Because at the end of the day, I agree. I want people that resonate to say, I want you to talk to us, rather than chasing down people and hoping that they resonate. Roger that. Yeah. Roger that. I've been yapping like because I'm kind of flowing in some of my philosophies. Yeah, that's okay. No, we that. appreciate that. Right. So. Yes. But that is what I want. The truth is, I haven't been at it long enough to determine that yet. Right. Mm -hmm. And so the key is, so you're we're all mature, right? You know, we got to be like, hey, mm, I thought this, but maybe I need to think about this pivot. this way, right? Pivot. Being able to pivot. Yeah. But not pivoting just to get the market and then not being true to your authentic content, your diamond, or your tool, right? But saying, all right, well, I need to rethink. Because a lot of what we're doing is, it, a lot of it's a marketing and messaging challenge, not necessarily a content challenge. Mm -hmm. You all have the expertise. Mm -hmm. But how do I how do I show the value proposition, the stickiness of the brand, right? So that the buyer, the ideal buyer, will say, I want him, I want her, yeah, or or absolutely not, not what we want, which is exactly what you want. I was saying you have to be a mint chocolate chip speaker in the vanilla chocolate world. You've got to have the flavor, you have to have the unique flavor. No common fudge, the, the strawberry swirl. So that the potential buyer, the HR market, or the senior executives, or sales professionals, or uh, you know IT leaders, another great market by the way, say, I see what this guy says. This is a challenge that's compelling for us. We need to talk to this guy. Not being the broad generalist out there, which could have worked years ago, but now you have to differentiate. And so think about how you're going to differentiate your brand, your market, your value proposition to appeal to the ideal market that hopefully will have a, have a pen that has a nice healthy check. Because I guarantee you all of our messages would probably work in, in, in schools and in colleges perhaps, you know, I'm sure we could spin it. But most of those people don't have, have check writing skills or don't have big budgets. So you want the market that has the best check writing ability that also is in alignment with your content and your value proposition without selling your soul to get it. Meaning, be, all the BSers out there that you're like, you talking about this? And they're, they're thought leaders, or they're thought repeaters, not thought leaders. They read all these books, and they, they have all this acumen, but they don't have the raw sales scars and the life scars to show their authenticity and make their content relevant. They're just philosophers finding a market. And you're like, this person has no clue. They're academically proficient. They don't know what it's like to get that accounting job and not be passionate about it and fail and fail and fail. You know, there's some great stories there. Yeah, I yeah. yeah. Thank you. Right, I'm done with my really awesome. lives for now. So, what do you guys well, got? Um, well, we're we're way over time. Um, so, if we could just um, everybody give Brad your um, your feedback. And then, um, and then what we will do, uh, you guys can, we've got a little bit of extra time on the back end of the meeting if you guys want to have a side yeah. conversation. Yep. Um, and then 